Hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> hey. Joining Mayor Mark Bowton joining us right now. Can't the, we get the yeah. chic of rock and roll to fix the uh, technological issues here? Uh, yeah, it's not his responsibility. Who's to say? I'm blaming him anyway. He's been there longer than Lincoln. Well, we got you, seven you, engineers. You're, you're like, you right. just behaved like one of your Twitter followers. Right. Yeah, I did, right? <laughs> Mama! <laughs> The My last, the la <laughs> anyway, so you know The last question he got on Twitter. Yeah. I gotta read it to you. Okay. Guy's name is Football Nerd. He writes, "Why did all of Peyton Aram just black out just now? What is he, what is he supposed what to do say? You, is he's the electric company. Right. He goes, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. Not a clue. I'm right there, out there, wiring up the stuff right. myself. And, hey, got my the, yellow hard hat on. Yeah. By, by the way, we uh, went to the phones today about uh, what what to put in that uh, old hat factory oh, yeah. location. The old hat factory. We you got, guys want to put some uh, a business in there? We understand. Well, you know, we want to put it back on the tax rolls. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but we're open to you know public purpose as well. Well, we got a lot, lottery, uh, well, lot, lot of suggestions. Well, before we get to the suggestions, yeah. do I get a tax credit for opening up shop on top of mercury poisoning? Yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you may glow a little bit too, but that's okay. It's not an issue. But it's a big property. Yeah, it should yeah. be used, right? I mean, that's the whole yeah. idea. It's yeah, absolutely. Five acres of unused space, and right. here are some of the suggestions that Danbury residents called in with this morning. Are you ready? I'm listening. Brothel was the first. Okay. Okay, and it had many votes. Yes. We had uh, a weed operation since uh, everybody is anticipating the legalization in right. Connecticut. All right, that's not going to happen you next. Don't, you don't like that. <laughs> what else do we have? Uh, your your suggestion. Pickle, pickle, pickles oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to open a business called Pickles and Stuff, but there's no stuff. It's just pickles. See, that's how you, get, pickles. Them. That's how yeah. you get them in. Yeah. Yeah. So that's you got the winner. I figure it's a high-volume, low-overhead business, you know, with that kind that's of problem. Yeah. Now, Lou's yeah. mom called. Mercury-flavored pickles. <laughs> Lou's mom called and said, like, uh, uh, like a place where you can go and get dressed up. And like mommy. Like, uh, like a cabaret thing. You can go dancing, big bands, yeah. that kind of thing, like uh, the old days. That's great. That's great. There'll be about, what, seven people there on a right. Saturday night? That's what I said. It'll work for us. Maybe later they can all go watch Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> there we go. Wow. <laughs> what would you like to see uh, yeah. happen there? Ideally, seriously. Uh, you know, we're going to put it out and we're going to have people bid on it and see what they want to do. I mean, there's a number of different industrial uses you could use there. Um, you know, we like to obviously put people to work, but I'm open to suggestions. That's why we, we do an open bid process and say, okay, mm -hmm. tell us what you, how you're going to use it, and we'll try to pick the one that makes the most sense. What kind of shape is it in? I mean, it's just been it's just been sitting there? Is it, it hasn't been touched? Yeah, I mean, it's, in, it's overgrown with weeds and stuff like that, but... Um, Generally speaking, uh, it's in you know, good shape. There's some concrete that you have to get out of the ground, and you do have to deal with the contamination. That is a, a challenge, but that's true of any downtown parcel. So it can be, it can be managed, and technology has changed so much over the years that uh, definitely uh, it's a lot easier today than it was, say, 15 years ago. I love abandoned properties. We should go check it out before you know, they fix it up. Well, we can take right. a couple of rakes. start raking it up. And wait, spooky. wait, wait. Maybe yeah. we can move the castle down there. What do you think? There you go. Now, there now, you you, go. now you're making everybody happy. Look at you solving problems left and right, you That's son of do. a bitch. <laughs> we roll. <laughs> <laughs> you call him a nipple head, son of a bitch. <laughs> ah, we're friendly now. We're buddies. Dude. <laughs> Hell. We're, we're building bridges here. We're united. We're building walls. Divided. We're not building bridges. Let's get that straight. <laughs> you're going to pay for it. Right. We uh, talked about... Uh, uh, Hillary Clinton a lot yesterday, and her wow. her health issues. Wow. Ethan and I came up with a new dance move called the faint in the faint, honor of yes. her. Uh, I can't come out of that. We, <laughs> and we went to the phones and asked people what what song would they most like to see be accompanied right. with our dance move, which you can of course see at i ninety five rock dot com. And the winner ended up being "I'll Tumble for You" by Culture, Culture Club. Club. Uh, okay, makes sense. Uh, a little too soon, I think. Right, just a little too soon. Really. It's topical, yeah, topical. It is topical. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Look at those polls, though, huh? Trump is uh, shooting up, and um, I think that really hurt Hillary over the weekend because it sort of oh, just yeah. fed the, the Trump narrative, you know? Right, right. Now, Ethan and I were having a discussion off the air, and I just said, listen, if if what we're seeing is what it looks like, is, is that it's something worse than pneumonia, possibly, wouldn't it be in her best interest to get out ahead of it and just say... Yes, I'm ill. They're not going to stop till they get the answer. Well, the, the, the question you have to ask then, would it be disqualifying, right? It comes, depending on the kind of illness it is, um, you know, they're going to end up having a big argument then about whether she should even be president. 
and they don't want that conversation at all. I, I, I tend to agree with you. I think maybe short term she did have pneumonia and still does, mm-hmm. but it doesn't explain the coughing fits that she goes on over the last year or so. It doesn't explain, um, you know, her fainting, uh, in 2012. Um, I think there's a little bit more there going on than, than they want to admit to. Um, but it doesn't necessarily, like you say, if you're transparent about it, it may not be disqualifying. People may not even, you know, give a rip one way or another. Right. So, um, it's a cover up, right? It's more than what the truth is that always gets you in trouble. I mean, come on, Jed yeah. Bartlett came clean on his MS. Right. Right. And, didn't and you listen, I didn't want him to quit when I was watching right. the West Wing. You know, I thought he could fight through it. That's right. That's right. Now, Donald Jefferson Trump goes on, uh, uh, Russian television station which it turned out it was it's basically uh he went on with larry king and it was syndicated and it happened right. to air on a russian tv station my point right. yesterday was even if he had known all the, all the way he'd known everything that it was hey it was a russian tv station that's uh funded by the kremlin you could still go on it it's just a tv station it doesn't mean su- you support them yeah i know who cares right i mean is that what we really have to argue about it it does you know what I have to say? That I said this in a little tweet. I, the the mainstream media has really sort of shown their cards, and you can't trust anything anymore. And it's terrible to say that there used to be a couple of channels and a couple of papers you could read. And whether they hated Trump or liked Trump or hated Hillary or liked Trump, you know, Hillary, it was fair and honest and unbiased. But forget it now. You just you just it's crazy, and the and the public doesn't trust the press, and that's a dangerous thing because they start thinking on themselves. All kinds of crazy stuff comes up. Now, on a more local level, I think the last time we talked, we had mentioned, you know, the noise patrol guy and uh, how I was, yeah. gonna, how excited I was to meet him because I was going to run into him at a, a family party. We did. My wife introduced me. Yeah. Were and nervous? we were fast friends, me and Edwin. Yeah. We're buddies. I heard, I, yeah. I heard you were BFFs. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. And um, I, we may deputize you. I'm going to do a ride along with him. Yeah, absolutely. He asked me if you could do that. I said it, w- it would be great. And, you know, just. You know, ride into a ditch and throw them out, and we'll <laughs> jump on them with a bunch of baseball bats, just like in a uh, casino. See, Edward, you- Edward is very diplomatic. Lou will not be. That's the problem. Oh, we had a great time, <laughs> me and him. We're, we're fast friends, man. We're going to go out and bust some noise uh, people. People making noise. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to bring the noise to the noise people. Are you going to bring the noise and, and, and the funk? Let me, let me uh, right. ask you what you're going to do about this. Uh, my son is on the Tiny Mites for the Danbury Trojans, okay? Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. We won the first game against New Milford. Dominated. Dominated, I tell you. Uh, and then Waterbury came to town. Yeah. And uh, we got beat bad. We got beat real bad. But uh, my, uh, w- there was uh, some 35-year-old children <laughs> on the team. <laughs> <laughs> they had prison tattoos. They were yeah. doing steroids on the sidelines. You, are you going to uh, launch an inquiry? Deep, deep, musta- deep uh, voices and yeah. mustaches and goatees. <laughs> yeah. and t- I heard them talking about. I heard them talking about their four hundred one k on the side. I said something's fishy here. <laughs> yeah, I'm all, I'm all over. I'm all over. I figured you would be. All right, righty. Well, back to Twitter for you, my. Fr- oh wait, you watching Stranger Things? You keep, you keep I'm it done up. With Stranger. I'm, you're done. I'm done. You're I'm done. done. That was the best show ever. Mm-hmm. Ever. Uh, what about Narcos season two? Did you watch? Done. 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 I'm done too. Done. I'm done. Uh, not, not as yeah, good as not as good as season one. Let's be honest. But agreed, a great, great show. Agreed. Agreed. And they set up season three, right? So now they're going to go after the Cali cartel. So that means you and I are going to be in trouble. We're going to be in big trouble. And what else are we talking? Bloodline. You, you know what I heard? You may not have heard this yet. Unbelievable. Coming back for season three, but they're ending it after season three. They're they're cutting it off. Yeah, I, I really like that show. Great show. Do you do want to yeah. want to do great a show? You want to do a bro date? How about we do this off, off the air? All right, I love. Okay, it. fine. Love you, <laughs> love you buddy. <laughs> Back right, to the business. Love you guys. All right, all right, man. Bye. See you later. Danbury Mayor Mark Bout joining the show. I think Jesus. we're I think we're buddies now. I think that's a thing. You yeah. know, we're very similar. Right. You know, business like, charismatic, uh-huh. gingers, yeah. getting it moving. That's right. You know, very accomplished, very motivated, pimping, pimping the streets right, that's of Danbury. Enough. It's a middle away from nine o'clock. Boss in the south. We have to go to the break. All right. Okay. This portion, <laughs> this portion of the Ethan Lou show here at I ninety five is brought to you by Charter. Join America's fastest growing TV, internet, and voice company. Get the Spectrum Triple Play today. Call eight five five seventy five switch. How can I help you? Fine.